It is agriculture that drives this local economy, as it does much of Saginaw County. And part of that economic stimulus is driven by sugar beets. As this week in Louisiana Agriculture's A.J. Sabine tells us, 2008 is shaping up to be a great year for sugar beet growers. And that's good news for sugar beet refiners. For a sugar beet grower in the thumb of Michigan, success is measured just below the surface. As the days get shorter and the skies take on the color of ambiguity, the clarity of harvest frames the end of beet season. For growers like Dean Hubbenstrecker, sugar beets are a cash crop. We're, we're not always out for the biggest beet. Um, you're looking for consistent beets and, and a good stand from one end of the field to the other. Like sugarcane growers here in Louisiana, sugar beet growers in Michigan face familiar production challenges. Fertilizer cost has got to be the big thing. Um, fertilizer is just over the last few years has just gone up where you, you don't just spread on something because you you uh, think it needs a little more. You uh, study and make sure you don't put on more than you need, but yet you don't want to cut yourself short. In this part of Michigan, sugar beets are planted around mid-April. Then they grow to about two to four pounds. Now, around Major League Baseball playoff time, they look like this, and it's time for them to be harvested. Now, at that time, a topper comes over and takes the vegetation off the sugar beet. Then they look like this. Now I'll show you how we get these suckers out of the ground. Two angled wheels pull beets onto a series of screws. The beets are then fed onto a conveyor that feeds the beets onto what I call the Ferris wheel. Beets then ride up the wheel and fall into a basket or are loaded directly into semis. Once the sugar beets are harvested down in Frankenmuth, they come here to Bay City, Michigan. Then they're dropped off at the Michigan Sugar Company where the sugar beets are diced and sliced and turned into table sugar, where it's then shipped all over the Northeast. Truckloads of beets are dumped into a piler. The piler cleans the beets and makes a 20 foot high mini mountain of sugar beets. Over a season, more than 3.8 million tons of beets will move through the factory, a major economic engine in this part of Michigan. $350 million direct economic impact to the cooperative itself, and uh, about a $900 million indirect economic imp impact to the state of Michigan. Inside the factory, sugar beets are shredded into French fry sized pieces, where they are pressed through warm water, kind of like brewing coffee in a French press. This process creates a thin juice, which is then cooked down into a syrup. Superheated syrup is fed into centrifuges where crystalline sugar is separated from impurities. From there, it's on to packaging, where this factory ships more than a billion pounds of sugar. Sweet. For This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, I'm A.J. Sabine. Michigan sugar beet growers consider anything over 20 tons per acre to be the magic number when it comes to determining the success of the harvest. This year, the USDA expects Michigan beet growers to set a record with 30 tons per acre. Unlike Louisiana's sugarcane harvest, which begins at the end of September and runs until the first week of January, sugar beet harvest here in Michigan takes less than two months to complete.